Hello, West Pacific Market Analytics, and it's Glenn here as we head into the end of the weekend on March 24th. Again, let us see before we think. Take out our emotions. We must apply rules. We must let models speak. And then we listen to what we hear in the data. Please hit the like, subscribe, so we can grow and help others here. And let's get into it. Disclaimer first, these charts and updates for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please read it. All right, I got a large group of models here, and I want to start with this first one to give you some thought. It is a long road. It is going to be violent. I've got violence here. It's a long road out till 19, excuse me, 2032. We can define violence as strength of emotion or an unpleasant or destructive natural force. So when we think about that, we have it a very, very emotional market and we have a lot of very interesting things going on around the world. It's going to be violent. We can also define it as the unlawful exercise of physical force or intimidation by the exhibition of such force. It makes me think of the 1.2 trillion we have just, of course, approved. What do you expect to keep this market afloat and this economy afloat? Let's see, 1.2 trillion. We're running at about spending at about a trillion every three months. So you do the math how long that money's going to last. <clears throat> until they all have to get back together and say, hey, we need more money. We should be so lucky as to live our lives in such a crazy way. So it's a long road. That's the first thing I have to say to you. Now, if you can look at this model, you notice the velocity completely collapsing. <clears throat> you notice the trend completely collapsing. And as we finally came out into the velocity, it started to get violent. Look at that, a big move down out of 2023. Another big rally out, a violent move down again, and then this rally back up above the dot curve. These just whipsy down, up, down, up, down, up, whipsy violent moves here, and we are going to continue to see this on this long road ahead. And yes, it's going to be a very long road. Now we can see in this particular model, what I want to show you is some big picture data. And then we'll look at some stuff a little shorter up. But we can see that as trend rises, as indicator rises, we have these rallies. And we can see how perfectly trend rising. We still had the trend bar up here last week. So we really can't call a top yet based on this particular model until we see a trend bar reversal. You notice here, weekly trend bar reversal here, weekly trend bar reversal here. And we had a trend bar reversal here, but we didn't get a sell off. Now, this, of course, was more coming out of that March low when they came in and again and bailed out all the banks. So I kind of throw that out. But you notice how the signal this time is all the way back up here at the high we saw back pre-2022. This high was last seen in late 2021. This is getting really extended now on the upside. And we're going to see that in other data models. In other words, how much higher can price push? So we're just going to go through these here. I'm not going to get into, I do on the Discord platform, discuss what these particular technicals represent more. But here on YouTube, we're just going to look at the model and what they show visually. We can see this big rally here up in trend against a collapsing velocity. And we can notice the 2020 correction happened once that trend reversed. We can see the same idea here, big rally up. There's our first trend reversal. And then of course the market sold off and we now are heading up. Now this is a market model of the globe. This has not, this is world model. This has nothing to do with just the US. And we can see last week, we now have a trend bar for the first time since the rally started breaking lower. So there's our first signal that we could be very much done up top here as of last week. This is an important signal. What you'll see here is how we've got the velocity down here. And notice here, before we had this big corrective move down, the velocity did rally up just like out of November. It's rallied up here and then it rolled back over. And I'm going to show you another model where this looks 
very dangerous. And we can see that here in that look where velocity is here. You can see it has a very similar look to what happened back here. Again, the same idea. We've got the trend bar here getting close to reversal, very much almost flat line here last week. And again, you can see this idea. Here it held the dot curve, here it broke out of the dot curve, and here it is up into the sky, just miles above the trend and the V channel. This again is saying that this rally is getting very, very overextended, and I cannot see it pushing much higher in the short term. Now this is a model that I think is very important, and this is actually a model around inflation. Now notice here, as the this is inflation here in red. So you can see inflation was very, very high back here in the 2012, 2013, 2014. And then in 2014, it collapsed. We had an inflationary collapse here, but what's interesting is when that was coming down, and notice how perfectly it came down within the V channel. And then you notice here it oversold here, and then it rallied back again into the V channel very nicely. And then in 2020, they decided they did not want this to continue. COVID came in and they printed a boatload of money, creating artificial inflation. Now, what's very interesting, there was only one time in this model when the inflation did not trade correctly to the model and when the price of the index, and you notice here, here's our price of the index up here now, and you notice it was rising up as inflation was coming down. So the two of them came together here, and then it all kind of traded together into here. Market got overbought here. And you notice how right here it jumped out. You notice this light gray. Now notice the same look here. We have this light gray. We had velocity coming out. You notice velocity is down here. Velocity is down here. We had this light gray pop out. And we have a very large light gray pop out here. Now you notice how inflation has just been trending sideways here. And I'm going to want to watch now if this all of a sudden sees to some sort of breakdown. But based on inflation, this is very overpriced here. And again, like that other model we looked at, this has a real dangerous look to what happened here in 2020. You can see the signals. I want to show you two models here. Let's not get into this all. We could read a lot of data otherwise in this signal. But what's most important here is notice price right there. You say to yourself, hey, can it go outside of the model? Price, how much higher can it go? I mean, this rally has just been astronomical and we're seeing prices gotten to a place where it just can't go any higher. And again, here's a second model, same idea. How much higher can price go here? Both of these, we can see that price is just absolutely at the top of the model with hardly any room above to go any higher. I mean, it's just absolutely maxed out at the point of as high as it can go. Now you notice the signal here, this trend is starting to roll over, started to get a bit of a break, rolled over here. But what we need to see, now the market started selling off here and then we saw the trend break hard. And that's where we had our sell off. So in this particular model, you're now gonna be looking for the same sort of setup where at some point for this trend just to finally say I give up and start to collapse down like it did back here in August into the August to October sell-off. So there's a lot of things I want to be watching, but the idea in those two models is how much higher can price go? Now I want to show you a couple models of the Dow. You notice we got a very nice focus on the signal up top here. It has rolled over, but notice since the beginning of around the mid of February, about a month ago, the capital flows here, and we're measuring the, the capital flows of the market here, which measures pretty much everything. And you can see in the Dow, it's been a sell program for over a month now. So it really looks precarious for price to stay up here. As this starts to come down, I would expect to see this sell program continue. And you'll see the red bar starting to poke out below here, which is the first we've seen since the lows here when we had that big sell-off back in September and October. 
and you notice the red bar is sticking out below here as price collapsed into it and we now have the red bar starting to poke out here with price way too far above the flows you can see always we, it, we, we could be below the flows because capital flows strong above we're getting pulled up into them but this again is not a situation that looks like the rally can continue much more and we see the same idea now this is a Dow based model and look at here we should be collapsing down with this blue we had a little bit of a pop out here now we're heading back down you notice the trend down a little bit of a pop out but how in the world is the Dow holding up here you notice every single time we had the trend selling off here the trend selling off the trend selling off the, everywhere going back to pre-2022 it was never wrong and I mean this is really precarious how we're just hanging out here in midair here for over a month now this again you notice price is just all the way at the top of the model we are ready here and we are fully maxed out it doesn't matter what we look at and we can see that same model you notice the collapsing dot curve here we broke out above it but you notice how price wants to now come down and end up here in 2024 down here somewhere below the last low it's just absolutely coming down here the dot curve again maxed out you notice the trend another trend bar lower next week last week as this just continues to break this indicator of the Dow the Dow looks very very precarious up here and I expect it to break soon another idea here you can see again this idea of collapsing v-channel you can see the velocity has not rebuilt out of 2022 it continues to collapse where it hasn't ever done that before we can look at this model is going all the way back here to 2003 and we've never seen velocity collapsing into a collapsing v-channel like this before something's got to give same idea here you can see this collapsing v-channel right here you can see we've never ever ever left trend except for this little pop out right now and you can see if we had to price the trend we're already pricing here on SPX back to 33.93 just to get to the trend it's going to get hot and it's going to get hot soon we can see here the pink line mock here which is a very important indicator the momentum of circulation completely at the top of the model we had it up that high even higher now right here when the market corrected big here at the beginning of 2023 you can see it was up here this led to a correction and you can see every time that this pink line was above it led to a correction and it's all the way at the top the highest it's ever been again another model showing we are very very much close if not at the top of this run we've got a rollover on the signal here the signal ro rolled over here mid-february it looks pretty good we still got the red pushing up but again we not only have this signal rolled over we have these two signals rolled over here which is the first time that's happened since the lows back in October of 2022 and we can see a signal up here is always led to a high here's a high here's a high here's a high and here's the double signal which we now have here the bigger double signal here back at the start of the top in 2022 so we're seeing this everywhere let's finish off with two flow models this is the flow model of NDX and you notice that capital flows continue to sell they've been selling pretty much all of 2024 capital flows are collapsing we've got the red popping out below and we've got the NDX price up here with a full focus on the signal and rolling over this is set to begin a fast move down the only thing holding us up somewhat is SPX you can notice the flows in, in SPX are pretty much flat line there, there's no red pop out yet below you can see when it got to the aggressive sell program back here I'm going to be watching this flow model into next week but you can see we still should not be priced up here with capital flows pricing us down here back at about 4800 so that's it that's all I've got for you today just a really quick review showing that the data is saying we are here prepare and get ready for the downside we'll talk about more about the speed we've got V channels below everywhere it could take some time we've got Passover this week rolling out all the way into Easter of next weekend Easter and Passover coming together again as usual as we know today is Palm Sunday and this was the day that Jesus rode in on a colt or a donkey and rode into Jerusalem a week before he was crucified so we've got a lot of religious holidays going on this week I would not expect much from the markets till we get past 
the Passover holiday, which ends as of next weekend. Have yourself a great week, and it's great talking to you. Please hit the like and subscribe. Again, if you want information, destinytrading at gmail.com for my Discord site. I've got a lot of information there. I've already put up all the energy commodity models over on the Discord site. I have not had a chance yet to put them up and do a report on energy outside of the gold and silver report that I did. And perhaps I'll get that done this week. I'll have to see. Thanks for tuning in. Glenn out.